Today we're gonna make garlic knots. Probably you've had these once or twice in your life. Maybe you're addicted to them. So we're gonna use the cold fermented pizza dough that we've used for probably 20 pizza recipes so far. If you have a pizza steel, you're gonna put them on there and they're gonna take like seven minutes. They're gonna take exactly as long as they take in a regular New York pizzeria. We're trying to duplicate the flavor of a New York pizzeria. To really duplicate it, we're gonna use the same tomatoes that they use. Scofani is something you're gonna be able to find in a lot of places, and you can find these on Amazon. They sell them in 12 packs on Amazon. Right away, you can get that. Now, New York pizzerias don't use this, but this is very close. What they do use is this brand here. They're a California brand. They make about 15 different types. So this is 7-Eleven, this is their ground product, which is the exact same thing as these ground Scofani. They come in these big cans. What I like to do is to portion them out and freeze them. And that'll be a nice amount for you to take one out of the freezer when you wanna do like one or two pizzas and do some garlic knots. So Amazon sells all these, but they're, they're very expensive. I think it's mostly resellers on there. Web restaurant store sells these for only $5 a can, but they sh sell shipping by weight and proximity to where you are to the warehouse. That could make it a little bit more, but they're still a lot cheaper there than they are on Amazon. So you have to take my word for it, these smell exactly like a New York pizzeria. We're gonna need garlic for both the sauce and for the actual garlic knots themselves. So take a few cloves, probably about by the way, that's my oven, and heat up your oven. If you're gonna use a steel, which I highly recommend, maybe you have a pizza stone, that would be good too. Heat up your oven to the highest temperature. I always keep my pizza steel seven inches from the top, and if you have any questions about pizza steel, and if you even have questions about how to make the pizza steel and season it, check out my New York pizza video. That goes over the whole entire process. We descaled the pizza steel. We made a whole pizza steel for $28 instead of spending $150 at uh, one of the premium steel places. And use as much or as little garlic as you like. You know, you're making garlic knots here, so they have a lot of garlic in there. You're making something that's uniquely Italian-American. Ton of garlic, and it's pretty much most Italian-American food. So I'm gonna slice up a little bit of garlic. I'll mince it for the garlic cloves. Oh, did I say garlic cloves? I'll mince it for the garlic knots. Right before we make the sauce, one thing, make sure your dough is out. You want it out for about an hour. It could be 45 minutes, you'd be all right. We're not stretching for a pizza dough. Right here, I have 500 grams of dough. So I have 18 ounces. It's been out for about 45 minutes. Okay, medium low. And just let it heat up for about two minutes if you're using a stainless steel pan. Let it get lightly golden. If you want a little bit of hot pepper, put it in about 30 seconds before you put the tomatoes in. Right when it gets a little bit golden like that, put your tomatoes in. And I probably put in about maybe 20 ounces of tomato there, maybe maybe 15. We don't need much sauce right now for, for the garlic knots. Give it a little taste test, it needs a little bit of salt. Okay, gonna take it off. All right, just take yourself another pan. I just have a little eight inch or 10 inch, whatever pan. I have a half a stick of butter. And that's frozen, so it just needs to defrost, but just don't put a lot of heat on it now. Just let it melt gently. So we're gonna use butter and oil for this. You can just use straight olive oil if you want. Put a half a stick of butter. I'm gonna use maybe a couple tablespoons of olive oil. These measurements don't have to be exact, and if you're making more garlic nuts, just use a little bit more butter, a little bit more oil. 
All right, and we're gonna put the garlic in there. And it's as simple as this just to make a garlic butter. We're gonna let this cook for a few minutes, let it get lightly golden, just like how we just did on the sauce. The other ingredient that I didn't show you before is just Pecorino Romano cheese. You could also use Parmesan if you want. Most places will probably use Pecorino. And once that garlic just gets a hint of golden, you can pull it off the heat. Okay, take that off. Here's flour. I always keep a container of flour for, for dough drops, whatever it is. And you know, you can keep a much bigger container and you can actually drop the whole ball right in there. I just kind of just open it, take what I need. You can do this anywhere. You could do it on a cutting board. Just make whatever surface you're working on, just make sure it's clean. Keep it here because you're gonna use a little bit more when we take the dough out of the container. To get the garlic knots onto the steel right here, I have just a wooden peel. This is just gonna be able to launch them on. I keep semolina flour in this little container, little thing, put a little bit on there, rub it in. This is much more important for pizza. When you're launching a pizza, you really gotta make sure that it's moving. Because if you don't, then the pizza can like become, it could go from a circle to be like an oval or, or worse. Keep this right next to wherever you're preparing your knots. All right, so it's not that critical about getting your dough ball out like for a pizza, but still try your best. I'm not the biggest fan of these metal containers, but I do use them. And yeah, I have, I always keep painter's tape on the side. So this says 500 grams, uh, 416. It has been 48 hours now since it's been in the refrigerator. So it's a 48 hour cold ferment. That means it's gonna have unbelievable flavor. Even if you didn't do anything to this and you just baked it, it would be really good. A lot of oil on there. I probably put too much oil on that one. Thank God I'm not making a pizza with this one. This is hard in those in those metal containers to get it out, and I do prefer the plastic ones. And I'm just gonna maybe make like six six strips here. and just tie them up. You could tuck the ends underneath like that. And there they all are, ready to go in the oven. All right, yeah, so I had a little bit too much oil in that, in, for that dough, it got a, kind of messed up here. It actually got stuck to my surface a little bit. I'll just clean it up. Doesn't matter with knots, knots are fairly easy. See how they're all sliding right now? You kind of push them a little bit forward so it's easier to launch them and just make sure they all move. What you can do is you can cover this if you want. You can cover it with plastic wrap and then you can and you can let this proof for 30 minutes and they'll start to rise again. I'm gonna put them right in the oven in about five minutes, so. The oven's at 550, so the steel's at about 600 degrees. It's only gonna take about six minutes, could could be possibly eight. While they're in the oven, get, get your garlic butter ready. We're just gonna put the garlic butter in, in a big clean pan. And just make sure you have your hot pepper, your cheese, your parsley, a little bit of salt, everything ready to go to season them up. When they're hot like that, they're going to be able to take the seasoning really well.
Now let's try them out. First of all, the bottom is just perfect on them. And that's what you guys will know when you order them from pizzeria, that's the bottom they're gonna have. If you put them in a pan or whatnot, they're not gonna have nearly the type of color that these have. Serving the sauce isn't always something that people do, but I think it's a nice touch. Yep. Exactly like that. The texture that you want, you don't want them to be cooked till they're like, till there's no softness inside. They need to have that crisp on the outside and very soft on the inside. A little bit of sauce. Please like and share this and I will see you next time.